In this example, we'll be creating a Seek a Word activity. We place our cursor where we would like the activity to be displayed in the lesson. We then choose Insert from the menu bar, select Activity, and choose Seek a Word. We then start typing in our list of words. I'll type in my first word, add it to the list, then continue to populate that list. Once we have populated the list of words, we also have the ability to modify the number of characters or letters that will appear in our puzzle. 20 square means 20 letters to the left and 20 letters up and down. If we reduce the number of letters across our puzzle, it will also reduce the maximum number of words. Notice 18 gives us the maximum of 13 words. I'll let it be 20. Then we'll go to our Options tab where we choose to either show or not show a hint. We also choose to allow or not allow our restart button and then we choose whether we want it to display as a linked object or in line. We can also set the number of points that are available in the puzzle and then click OK. Notice we also have the ability of adding a description for this activity to be used as an alternative activity. We click OK and we now see the placeholder for our puzzle. To see what it would look like to our students, we preview it, we save our changes, and there is our Seek a Word activity. Thank you.